guys, I'm in my car again, and that's because I didn't wake up when I wanted to, but I did wake up earlier, which is a really amazing thing. I think it's because I had such a hard time falling asleep. I think it took me like an hour. I, I think I ended up falling asleep like at like 5.30 this morning, and then my, Kai woke me up at like 7 o'clock. And I had about an hour of trying to fall asleep then. So I haven't had like the best sleep, but I have had like a good solid six hours at least. But right now I'm headed to Walmart to get my medicine and I'll probably end up going to like the Dollar Tree and probably Kroger's to get gas. And then, I, I don't know. I may look into seeing if Walmart has a like a little mini kitty pool for Kai because it's been so hot recently and if they don't have it I may go to Tractor Supply. So I may go to quite a few places but the main place I have to go is Walmart. I do have a bit of a reading update. I was able to start The March Girl last night. I only read 34 pages so I only read like two chapters of it. But so far, it's not what I expected. I, you know, I should stop going into books expecting certain things because nine times out of ten, even with how the summary sounds, I, I'm never gonna actually expect what I get. Normally, the books are better than what I was expecting. So, I mean, great, I'm only 34 pages in, but so far, it's better than I was expecting. It's actually a little after three o'clock in the afternoon, so I don't think I'll be able to finish the March Girl today, but I'm going to try my hardest to at least get like halfway through it. So, I mean, if I buckled down and I did like nothing else, I would be able to finish the March Girl today. I know that, but I, I really want to do other things like play Fortnite for maybe an hour or so and then, you know, eat. Eat, eating them is important. Speaking of eating, I'm not going to be doing the video challenge for today, which is to cook a recipe that's in a book. I mean, I have the Harry Potter cookbook. I could just choose one of those. But I said in like my first vlog of this readathon that I am tight on money. So I'm not, I don't have the stuff to like make like any random thing that's in a book, off, you know, unless there's, I don't even have bacon actually. Because I don't eat bacon. I know, my brother says I need to move out of Kentucky because no one in Kentucky can possibly eat bacon. But I don't like bacon. <laughs> Turkey bacon's fine, but it usually goes bad before I ever get to it. Uh, so I guess unless there's like sausage, egg, and toast in some kind of book, I can't do that challenge. And I'm really good at cooking and baking. I find it relaxing. I really enjoy doing it. But I'm not going to buy ingredients for something that I possibly will not like or I will not eat because if I bake something nine times out of ten I won't eat it because I'm not a very big sweet eater. If I bake anything it's usually around the holidays when there's like 50 other people that can eat it for me and as for regular food I mean I'm a creature of habit so cooking anything that's like out of my taste bud comfort zone I'm, I'm not really with that. It most likely wouldn't be eaten either so I would just be wasting food at that point so. Yeah, I'm not doing today's video challenge. Sigh. Okay, so I've already left Dollar Tree. I only got dog food, and I looked at the books, but there was none that I didn't already have. And I'm at Walmart, and I'm parked by gardening where the pools are supposed to be, and I don't see any, so fingers crossed they have them inside. Kai is extremely spoiled. Just saying. As you can see, I was able to get a pool, and I barely fit it in the car, especially since I had to get a plant and another plant. <laughs> Along with all the groceries I got, I'm nuts. I am, I'm seriously nuts. The air is not good enough for this kind of stuff, but I'm done. I got ice cream. I didn't need ice cream, but I bought ice cream anyways because I deserve it after all of this that I put myself through. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm on my home. It'll take me about 20, 30 minutes to get there. Hopefully this car cools off. If not, I'm dying. It's 86 degrees out, but it feels like 100 in this car. Oh, I'm melting. 
Okay, I'm finally back home, and I want to rectify what I said a couple days ago on my day one vlog where I said that, like, the extra money I save and the reason I'm tight on money is because of food, and I have come to the conclusion that's because I spend way too much money on Kai. Because I just spent, like, over $100 at Walmart, and, like, 90% of that was just in dog-related stuff, like the little mini pool I got for him, which I plan on filling up with water probably tonight or tomorrow morning, because the day's pretty much over. It's like 6 o'clock. He doesn't need to be swimming at this time of day. Um, but, I mean, other than, like, drinks, I got nothing for myself. All of that was just for Kai. And I, all of my Dollar Tree, that was only $8 at Dollar Tree, but all of that was for Kai. And it's like, I need restraint. I did get these super tip Crayola markers though. Um, I've heard a few people who actually do uh, bullet journal YouTube channels that they love using these and my other ones have been getting really really dried out so I thought I would try these instead. So I got more than just drinks for me it turns out. Isn't he just the cutest? She's just the cutest little baby. Yes, you are. Aww. You're my baby. Focus. Focus on my baby. You're just so pretty.